Yeah, good morning to you both. Despite graphic details revealed in court yesterday, there's really still no clear motive for all of this. The suspect showed no emotion while facing four counts of first degree murder yesterday in court. A judge calling the allegations, quote, absolutely horrific and appalling. They're telling us is they've got three suspects they found on the train that appear to possibly be dead. New 911 calls released Wednesday detailing moments after a CTA employee found the first three victims who prosecutors say were executed. There were three sleeping passengers on board the car with the defendant. Prosecutors say around five Monday morning on a Forest Park bound Blue Line train, 30 year old Ronnie Davis began a crime spree. The suspect allegedly shooting a 52 year old man in the head and torso before opening fire on two other sleeping victims, 28 year old Simeon Behesi, who was shot in the face and arm, and 64 year old Margaret Miller, shot once to the back of the head. While the train was still in transit, the defendant crossed over to the next car. In that car, Davis allegedly walked in front of 60-year-old Adrian Collins, shooting him once in the torso. I got the uh, victim on rail car 3220 uh, with a very faint pulse. Video shows the moments the suspect got off at the Harlem stop, minutes later boarding a loop-bound train. CTA personnel were given a description of the offender by the police. The suspect was eventually caught at the California Avenue stop after a CTA employee recognized the suspect on a pink line train. Court documents reveal, among other things, it was CTA surveillance video, along with Davis being identified by an officer from a previous arrest that linked the suspect to the crime. Also discovered on the two train cars were five nine millimeter shell casings. Prosecutors say ballistics analysis showed spent casings at the scene were fired by a gun found during the arrest on Davis, who also tested positive for gunshot residue. While Davis has no felony convictions and one misdemeanor conviction, court records detail several past arrests, including two by Metra and Chicago police for weapons charges. Both of those later dropped. The suspect's past history is detailed in numerous filings under different names in Cook County after records show Davis's name was legally changed more than a decade ago. Now, after hearing those allegations in court yesterday, the judge saying that Davis, quote, defines violence. Now, in looking at the timestamp on that video released of the suspect getting off at the Harlem station and when that first 911 call was made, there appeared to be about a 20 minute gap at least how long between when those victims were shot on Monday morning and when they were found by the first person. All of them were presumed to be homeless, according to authorities. Reporting this morning in Forest Park, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.